welcome on stage Thomas Nihalik from Stajik. Hello guys, I hope you can hear me. Thank you very much for, for coming and still being here at this very late hour. My name is Thomas. Uh, I'm a sales director for Stajik. Uh, I look after the D2B sales uh, in the enterprise unit. And today I would like to explain why navigation should be and is a big deal. And you might be asking, like, why navigation? So I, I would like to start off with a situation where I want you, I want you to think of a, uh, of a morning when you are about to go to work. And what you might do, you might you know, sit in the car and you might start some navigation. You might start on Google or uh, Waze or initially Sajik or other providers. And why do you do that? Uh, you probably do it because you would like to find out what is the estimated time of arrival, if there's any traffic jams, and that's, that's probably it. And that's okay. Now I want you to think of a situation where you are a professional driver, let's say truck driver, and you are about to sit in this big truck with this big wheel in front of you, have it? And you have about 30 tons of so God knows what underneath of you. Uh, you might be the <laughs> hydrogen, so you, you, know, you can end up as a terminator. <laughs> but you don't want that. Um, would you use the same kind of navigation as you know, in the car? Probably not. Um, and especially for the situation when you are a fleet owner, for example. You probably don't want a driver to go off with something that doesn't know what, I, what is the size of the truck, what the number of axles, uh, what is the road, basically. And it seems that you know, we invest a lot of time and energy into, into developing these solutions like uh, you know, um, optimization of the, of the fleet and, uh, and tracking and all that, and it, it's really good. But sometimes it seems that we forget about the driver. And telematics is, is, is a complex solution where we combine IT with, with transportation of physical goods, but we shouldn't forget about the last and very important uh, part of the supply chain, which is the driver. So this is what we do in Sajik. We are very much engaged, and, and our mission is to help the driver. We are developing professional and also B2C type of uh, navigation solution. Uh, and we are not a new company, we are not small. Uh, we've been around for about 15 years now, and we managed to develop various navigations. Uh, and at the moment, we have about 200 million downloads with about 10 million active, monthly active users, which is a great, great pool of, uh, of ideas. We take these ideas and put it on, into the B2B world as well. We have a professional navigation with SDK, so that means that it can be integrated into like lead management and telematics type of solution. We have about one million professional drivers using our navigation all around the world, and we work with two thirds of global telematics providers. Uh, I don't want to mention their names because it's not supposed to. Um, but today I, will, I would like to also show two uh, very important, uh, important case studies that we have um, in, in the world. And at the very end, uh, I would like to emphasize um, maybe a, a deeper integration with Vialum uh, with and with Curtin. And uh, as well, I would like to share our, our, our ideas of the future of the telematics. So I have two use cases. First one is in um, uh, Saudi Arabia. And it's with uh, Saudi Electricity. And it's a very good customer of ours. And uh, their challenge was to have that they have uh, about um, 1,100 uh, field, work, field work guys who need to go to remote areas. Uh, and they need to fix something as soon as possible. But at the same time, um, they were keen on keeping the information with the company. Not sure if it's somebody who they, who they don't want to share it with. They have also many daily stops because they, they do fix a lot of, lot of issues uh, and they need to react very quickly. So what we've done, we used our professional navigation that has offline maps. Uh, in this case, we use here maps, so they're quite detailed for this area. Uh, and uh, the maps are stored on the device. The whole thing stays behind their firewall, okay, because the maps are stored on the device and they just talk with their, uh, with, with their backend. And uh, we are using, obviously, the turn-by-turn the -turn navigation for, for those guys out there. They increase the, uh, the, the efficiency of, 
their works, definitely. And uh, now they can work um, seamlessly um, throughout the whole area. And as you probably know, so here this is a big country. Uh, so this is actually a very um, successful project of ours. The other one is uh, what I thought that uh, I should also include the, the truck specific um, case. And th this one is uh, this one is in uh, Germany. Maybe you know Hermes delivery, they are you know, huge guys. This one is a two man delivery and they have a they had a challenge of navigating six thousand big trucks, so they need to take into consideration what is the number of axles, what is what is the attribute of the of the vehicle, because the last thing that you want to do is end up on the on the low bridge. Um, and at the same time, they had a challenge when the, the truck driver came into the hub. He didn't know where his docking thing is, uh, is located. So what we've done, we, in the, the integration, uh, which adds the biggest value to our solution, we added the, the possibility to create a line or draw a line on top of the map and to take him right to the, to the right docking station. So this is what we've done. Um, since the, the, there is no map coverage for the, for the hubs, there was the, there was the challenge. Uh, and then again, we used our truck specific uh, navigation. Um, and again, we drew maps over here. Um, the thing, imagine when you have 6,000 devices, they use uh, Zebra um, handheld devices. Imagine that you need to have somebody to install it manually, that's useless. So you need to have a large possibility to manage these licenses on, on a large scale, uh, and you need to be efficient. So, so this is what our solution offers um, at the same time. And today I heard a lot of uh, case studies and a lot of stories, and it seems that, uh, like I said, we are focusing a lot of on, on the on the back end, on the back end side. But I think that we have some good examples over here that uh, we should implement professional solutions on the mobile client as well. So I want to emphasize, people of uh, Portland, of uh, Lyon, we are all here. Um, we should start thinking of how we can combine your solutions together with these great third-party solutions with some professional mobile-based solution, we can, we can definitely bring a lot of uh, added value, increase safety, and efficiency as well. This is, what it, this is our expertise. And at, at the very end, I would like to share with you uh, what we think where the telematics is going. Uh, we already started to working on, on projects where we want to emphasize the, the community of, of drivers. Imagine that you are a truck, specific, truck driver. These guys are usually on the road for a long time. With no, you know, no family and all that. Imagine that you are going to the rest stop, and you can see that there are other guys from your same, from the same country as you are, because you can see them in, in, in the community. You can you can chat with them, you can meet with them, you can hang out with them, make new friends. At the same time, you can share the information that are uh, specific to truck drivers that is happening on the roads. Um, let's say there is police, there is a scale um, measuring the, the weight of the truck, and uh, and anything anything like that. So this is. What we believe that we need to pay attention to the driver. Uh, we want to create a community of drivers. And at the same time, we, we started working on, uh, let's say, ADAS, a solution based just on the mobile phone. Uh, we already have a driver behavior um, and scoring library that is available out there. We already put it in our subject truck navigation so you can drive and you can see how we score in comparison to other drivers all around the world or in your country only. We also provide APIs for, for the for the town that it provides to create leaderboards of the best and, and worst drivers. So I would like to emphasize again, um, come talk to us through our chat in Jitex or afterwards, uh, talk to guys in, uh, in, in Gordon and then let's, let's create a solution that is beneficial for all the drivers. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you Dominic, that was really presentation. Uh, actually, I really like the, the point that you are focusing on the driver who is putting his hand on the wheel. Yes. But I have one question related to the offline map. Mm -hmm. You mentioned one project that you are using offline map. Uh, do you have any solution like you are using offline map, but you can push small data related to the traffic? Yes, yes. Our solution is, uh, we call it hybrid, um, so it can work totally offline because the maps are stored on the device. We are also using the historical traffic. Uh, so we know that on Monday morning there is going to be traffic jam in Shakespeare uh, Road, for example. So we take you around. We take this into NTA uh, as well. But we are able uh, to, if you want, if the customer wants, and a lot of customers they want it, uh, they, we also provide you with the real-time traffic information. And uh, our 
network traffic in issue is very dense. Uh, for example, in Europe, uh, we are even better than Google because we combine different sources, um, especially with, if you have a TomTom -tom traffic, they have uh, more devices connected and uh, the, the speed of um, updates, all of the real-time traffic updates is, is even uh, more than, than, uh, than with Google and Forbes. So we have both information there. Thank you. And that's, uh, if I can add uh, to it, especially in the delivery zone, because we serve different replicas like long haul delivery, you know, emergency vehicles, you name it. Uh, especially if you have a lot of stops, let's say 20 or 30 stops, you need to make sure that you know the ETA to each and every point so that, that the dispatcher and the customer knows if he's gonna hit the time window or not. And we can, we can, we can provide that. Okay, thank you. Any other questions? Nishad? <laughs> Where are you? There's, there's plenty of time, and I have lots of questions now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do we have any other questions? I did a good job. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>